We'll get you the latest. We're moving on for now. Yemen's Houthi rebels have released a footage showing what they say is the Yafa drone that they used in attack on Tel Aviv on July 19th. At least one person was killed and 10 were injured after the long-range rocket that Israel said was made in Iran hit an apartment building. The group said in a statement that Yafa drone is capable of performing multiple tasks and it has systems that make it invisible to the enemy radar and air defenses. The footage shows the drone carrying a high explo highly explosive warhead. Israeli forces struck Yemen's rebel head held Odeda port in retaliation to attack on Tel Aviv, damaging oil storage facilities and setting tankers ablaze. At least six people were killed and 80 others were injured in that attack. This attack will not go unanswered. We will strike back. Our Navy, air and drone forces will respond forcefully. Yafa drone launched by Houthis breached Israeli airspace, evaded the Iron Dome and rained shards of sharpnel over a large radius in the civilian area. It dodged the multi-layer air defense system and did not trigger the air raid alarms. Houthi spokesperson Yaya Sari said in a statement that the drones and missiles are launched from Yemen towards Israel in retaliation for war in Gaza. The attack by Houthis on Tel Aviv came hours after the Israeli military said that its forces killed a senior commander of the Lebanon-based Hezbollah militia. Israeli chief spokesperson Rear Admiral Daniel Hagari confirmed that the drone hit a building in proximity to the U.S. Embassy office. Israel described the UAV as an upgraded Iranian-made Samad 3 model capable of long-range flights. In view of recent developments in the Red Sea, UN Special Envoy to Yemen has said that the threat to international shipping from the Houthis is growing. In the UN Security Council, Hans Grunenberg warned of real danger of devastating regional escalation. He said the Houthis at Houthi attacks on Israel and the Israeli retaliatory strikes on Yemen's port of Odeda represent a new and dangerous level of violence. I remain deeply concerned about the continued targeting of international navigation in the Red Sea and its surrounding waterways. Recent developments suggest that the threat against international shipping is increasing in scope and precision. Commercial shipping vessels have been sunk and damaged, civilians have been killed, the crew of the Galaxy Leader remains arbitrarily detained, and international trade has been disrupted. Meanwhile, the U.S. and the U.K. have continued to carry out strikes on military targets in Ansar Allah-controlled territory. Since the onslaught of the Gaza war, the Houthis have been attacking the commercial shipping in the Red Sea and Gulf of Aden that is either Israeli-owned, flagged, operated or is headed to the Israeli ports. They say that these attacks are in solidarity with Gaza Strip, where more than 39,000 civilians have been killed since Israel launched its military offensive against Hamas last year.